Today's lesson is topic 16, lesson one, points, lines, and planes. The objective for today is I will identify and describe points, lines, and planes. In today's lesson, you will be filling in completely the vocabulary page that you have glued into your notes. Your job is to come to class prepared with all of the vocab and a picture completed so that we can get started right away coming up with our own examples of each of these tomorrow together. So the first vocabulary word we are looking at is a point. A point is an exact location in space. It can be located anywhere. So we would call that a point. And we usually label them with some letter, typically a letter and not a number. So your example is this one right over here. The dot or the Z underneath it. So include that in your picture. A line. A straight path of points that goes on and on forever in two directions. We identify a line specifically because of the arrows on the end of it. The arrows tell me that it, de it never ends. Okay? It will just keep on going forever and ever unless I tell it to stop by putting a point on that line. The next example is a plane. A plane is an endless flat surface. The arrows over here are showing me that this plane could also go on forever and ever. Be sure to pause and write down all of the notes as you need to. The next vocabulary word today is parallel lines. Lines that, are, that never intersect. So they always run parallel to each other, meaning that they are right next to each other and they will never, ever, ever cross each other because they're running next to each other. Intersecting lines are lines that pass through the same point. Okay, so they have a point which they cross and it is the same point. Perpendicular lines are lines that square form square corners. When we refer to square corners, we're referring to what we call 90 degrees. And that is what you see right here. You will often see that identified with a little box on the inside, just like I drew right here. That is what we refer to as a square corner. Square corners are what you see everywhere. If you look around your classroom tomorrow when you walk in, or if you're watching this in the morning, if you look around the classroom, you will see square corners everywhere. They are exactly 90 degrees, and they are the most commonly used corner. That is the only thing I want you to take care of in your notes today is to complete all the vocabulary words. Be sure that you have an example picture on the far right column as well. Thank you.